Thanks, Chris. An elementary school principal is making a difference tonight by using a new initiative to transform student behavior in the Kernville Union School District. Now Bakersfield's Tori Cooper joins us with more. Tori? Yes, Jessica, the Leader in Me approach is all about breeding incentive for students to behave in class. It's designed to help give them the tools to be stronger leaders in the future workforce as well as the community. I had a chance to meet with both students and district faculty to see just how the new strategies are working. Working. Woodrow Wallace Elementary School principal Brian Polston saw an area on school campus that he felt needed more attention. Witnessing uh, a lot of behaviors that uh, are very concerning, uh, that our teachers struggle with and we struggle with and, and really uh, interfere with uh, our academics. In March, Polston made it his priority to bring about change in student behavior. Do a behavior grading system uh, where students on a daily basis are receiving a grade that's based on attendance, uh, their uh, tardiness, uh, uh, behavior in the classroom that's determined by office referrals that they may receive for poor behavior. The office monitors the attendance and poor behavior referrals submitted by teachers, but that is not the only area of behavior Polston and staff are now monitoring. We've been having the teachers and the paraprofessionals over the last uh, two months uh, tally mark every time they see unwanted physical contact, even if it's just a, a push. In just one week, staff tallied roughly 1,200 unwanted physical contact interactions among students in different areas on campus and on the bus. Data showed it was mostly happening in lines, on the playground, and on the bus. From there, additional staff members were placed in those areas and interactions decreased by 50%. Each day, students can also now receive up to 100 points in good behavior in order to breed more incentive for students to behave and keep behavior scores high. Polston developed the Husky Buck currency for students like eight-year-old Bradley Whitman to spend on Friday treats. And if you're here every day and you behave every day and no referrals or anything, then you would get 100 points. And then uh, um, if you're uh, really, if, if you get 100 po points every day, then you could, then you get 15 Husky Bucks. Polston and staff base behavior training for all 494 students off Dr. Stephen Covey's book, The Leader in Me and the Seven Habit Philosophy, which are to listen before you talk, think that everyone can win, believe together is better, work first, then play, be proactive, find a balance within, and have a plan in mind. My plan in my life is to um, really help my family and um, pretty much just be nice and um, show other people what a leader is. Once a week, Polston holds a meeting with one student from each class about the behavior findings. That way, students can report back to their classmates and hold each other accountable on a daily basis. But it wasn't an overnight process. In order to put everything in place to track and impact behavior thoroughly, Polston and Kernville Union School District board members knew staff training would be costly. So Polston stepped up promising District Superintendent Robin Shive and the board $50,000 in 30 days to get the ball rolling on the project. We took it to the board. He was willing to go forward and raise the money all on his own. And he went uh, to the um, churches, different community organizations, philanthropic groups to um, bring leaders to our community through our students. The community and Polston supporting the Leader in Me initiative to help create new leaders for tomorrow. The Wallace Elementary School teachers I spoke to said that the initiative has changed their classrooms for the better and that the tracking system is easy. Principal Polston also said that staff will continue to track behavior during the next school year to see where more progress can be made. And if you have any more questions about this story, we actually have the teacher and principal in our studio tonight. We'll be talking to them after the show, so be sure to post all of your questions right here on this post that I shared on our 23ABC Facebook page, and we'll make sure to get those to you after the show. For the now, I'm Tori Cooper, 23ABC. Back to you. All right, Tori, thanks for that. We're going to take a live.